Pump. The biggest music competition in Kenya. Last week, singer, songwriter, and lead background vocalist Katy Perry. Guest judge LB joined the panel. Yes, yes. The fight to the top was intensified. That was a disaster of a performance. I'm not quite sure where you fit musically. Luel and Tony were eliminated. I've made it this far, so it's, it's good. Now, you weren't that different. Everything changes. <laughs> Music icon. What I saw was somebody really scared, really petrified. And the no nonsense judge, Ian Bugwa, visits the house. Don't turn your back and walk away. Who will hold it together? I wish you'd have fallen on your knees and baby. You aren't giving us eye contact. I really do feel the star power you carry. Who will survive this gruesome episode? None of you is a superstar. I can sing starts now. So coming up first to the stage, singing a song by Mercy Myra that we are all familiar with, Tabasamu. People, give it up for Mary Mugure! You're not really connecting with us in terms of singing to us. It's something that you just want to focus on, just the power of your voice, which you have compared to many of the other contestants, but still, you didn't make us feel uh, the emotion behind the song. That's one thing that I've noticed about you from week to week. You come out with this smile and this energy, and it meets us all before you ever open your mouth. I can tell that you have a great range, but it's not fully supported with your breath control. So for me, that's something that I really would like to see you work on next week. Maybe go run on the treadmill with the song that we select for you, or do some sit-ups to get those abs working. But um, we miss some of the, the tone and the end of the phrases because they kind of fall flat. Mary, singing and dancing takes a lot of breath. And if you aren't fit enough, one of the two is going to suffer. And in this case, it's your voice that suffered. I do see a spark. I do see there's something that you can work on. There is, you've got a long way to go, yes, but you need to start practicing, especially breath control and just being able to sing your song without having to move until you're confident enough. Confidence is another thing that you seem to be lacking. Coming up next, a man whose height stands out, but also the ability to use his voice does very well. Singing a song by Saudi Soul that we are all very familiar with called Kuliko Jana. Everybody, give it up for Amani Mbui. <laughs> Oh, 
Tena ni mukozi wangu Tena ni kiongozi wangu Ana nipenda Leo kuliko tena Baraka zake azikwishi Si kama binadamu badiliki Ana nipenda Leo kuliko tena LB suggested you perform with an instrument since you play guitar and I think it only just worked to your favor. It, it really just brought out your musicianship and how talented you are. You are so talented and I'm so excited about you. The guitar is to accompany the voice. So I need the voice here first and then the instrumentation behind. You got too loud, you drowned and um, the chorus were drowned and the band when they came in also became a bit too loud. So then you got swallowed up. Choice of song. If you pick a song that is very well known, you'll know that there are a number of people who've done various renditions of it, various covers. You've got to be completely different. And to me, you weren't that different. I wonder, maybe you've been rehearsing a lot this week. Your voice wasn't as uh, crisp as it was last week. So the delivery for me was okay, but the entire performance with you as the main musician in the middle made it all work. So hopefully next week we can like nail every element, the sound, your voice, the everything. Up next with a song by Wahoo that we all loved to sing, Sweet Love People. Give it up for our very own a Homegrown right here in Nairobi, Maureen Musungu, everybody.
audiences find it easier to see than to hear. So once you start coming in, you start bobbing up and down and moving back and forth, we get completely distracted by your singing and we concentrate on what you're doing. This back and forth, this zigzag doesn't work. Well, Auzan was coaching you for, for, for this performance. And uh, <laughs> you, you, you got, you got, judge, well, you well got I, I was choreographing. That was your choreography? I, I was working, I was working on the voice. I was working on the voice. We, 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 we didn't, we didn't, uh, let me, please, let me, please. no, 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 Ian, let me tell you something. This please. Is, this is my house. <laughs> oh. <laughs> This is Philar's house. Yeah. Okay. So, so cool down. This is Philar. Okay. <laughs> Maureen, Maureen. <laughs> Maureen, I know, I know the pressures of this thing. You know, I know the pressures of preparing for a performance. And I just want you to remember that you, you, you don't give up because you just had one bad show. And then sometimes you see that this is not going to be a, a good performance. It's not going to be 100%. Uh, but yeah, you just know that Phila has your back, and I'm I'm, uh, 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 <laughs> I'm going I'm going to to walk with you on this journey. And don't worry, this is my house. This is everything. Forget about Ian. So, so everything is everything is going to work out. Okay. So, so it's a good. Forget week. about Ian at your own peril. <laughs> oh, okay. I feel like the only thing that comes in your way is confidence. Confidence, like singing with confidence, standing on stage with confidence. And that's something that comes with time. Um, so don't give up, please. <laughs> but for you, I feel like it's just a confidence thing. Coming up. Time of the lies, More epic performers take the stage. 